7. Literature in the Postmodernism Period 1940 Plus A Historical Survey of English Language and Literature Exercises Group A A. Multiple Choice Questions Tick, square root, the best answer 1. Literature developed with multiple characteristics, nature, experiments, themes, and characters A. Postmodern B. Modern C. Classical D. Middle English 2. Studies became one of the emerging areas of study in the 21-inch century. A. Diaspora B. Religion C. Language D. Nature 3. Samuel Beckett is a an, dramatist of the 21st century. A. English B. Indian C. Celtic D. Irish 4. The Unknown Citizen is a famous poem by A. Dylan Thomas B. W. H. Auden C. William Golding D. Ted Hughes 5. Alan Patton is a famous novelist whose cry, The Beloved Country was published in 1948. A. South African B. Indian C. Pakistani D. Brazilian 6. Made the readers easy access to literature through the use of internet and ICT in the recent years. A. Subaltern literature B. War literature C. Classical literature D. Cyber literature 7. The postmodern period begins in, and extends up to now. A. 1945 B. 1950 C. 1955 D. 1960 8. Is an attack on the established norms of the logocentric modernist period and moves towards the age of self-realization. A. Classical B. Modern C. Postmodern D. Middle English 9. Postmodernism doesn't have its finite starting point but is generally viewed as the result of the multiple voices in the field of art, music and literature after the end of the war in 1945. A. First World B. Second World C. Cold D. Stone 10. The concept of English literature, literature as written in the British Isles, changed into English, English literature written in English anywhere in the a. Europe B. America C. Africa D. World 11. Which is not the feature of postmodern literature A. Plurality in meaning B. Self-reflexivity C. Permanency D. Questioning the grand narratives 12. Which is not the feature of postmodern literature A. Mixed form of literature B. Disoriented style. C. Multiculturalism. D. Folk culture. 13. Along with the development of multiculturalism and open market policy, became demand of the people. A. Meaning. B. Translation. C. Permanency. D. Narratives. 14. In literature, includes the feelings, emotions and loneliness of the migrants. A. Subaltern B. Religion C. Diaspora D. Cyber 15. Is the term used for the literature of the marginalized people, which identifies and describes the man, the woman, and the social group who are socially, politically and geographically outside of the hegemonic power structure. A. Subaltern B. Religion C. Diaspora D. Cyber 16. Some famous writers of the subaltern literature are A. Homi K. Baba, Parta Chatterjee, David Hardiman, Robert Burns B. Mulk Raj Anand, Toni Morrison, Shahid Amin, David Arnold C. Homi K. Baba, Parta Chatterjee, Robert Burns, David Hardiman D. Robert Burns, Homi K. Baba, Parta Chatterjee, David Hardiman 
17 is a new style of literary movement which uses electronic space as a medium and provides an opportunity for people to read, write, listen, and access the literary works. A. Subaltern literature. B. Religion literature. C. Diaspora literature. D. Cyber literature. 18. Cyber literature was developed after the, as a part of postmodern literature. A. 1940s. B. 1950s. C. 1960s. D. 1970s. 19. 19. Samuel Beckett was born on April 13, in Dublin, Ireland and died on December 22, 1989 in Paris, France. A. 1904. B. 1905. C. 1906. D. 1907. 20. Famous works are, Eleutheria, Waiting for Godot, Endgame, Malloy, Malone Dies, The Unnameable and Messia at Camia. A. Dylan Thomas's. B. Samuel Beckett's. C. William Golding's. D. Ted Hughes's. 21. Harold Pinter wrote his first play, The Room, in A. 1955. B. 1956. C. 1957. D. 1958. 22. Wrote many popular poems like, Church Going, The Wits and Weddings. A. Dylan Thomas. B. W. H. Auden. C. William Golding. D. Philip Larkin. 23. Is famous pictorial poet who focused on high level of imagination and human freedom. He wrote many poems like Jaguar and The Hawk in the Rain. A. Dylan Thomas. B. Ted Hughes. C. William Golding. D. Philip Larkin. 24. Is a poet of traditional rustic landscapes and the lives of people, who wrote the poems like An Old Man. A. Dylan Thomas. B. Ted Hughes. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Philip Larkin. 25. Is a famous poet at the beginning of postmodernism and his famous poem is Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. A. Dylan Thomas. B. Ted Hughes. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Philip Larkin. 26. Wrote the poems full of voice of identity and anxiety in human beings in postmodern period. His major works are, The Unknown Citizen, and On This Island. A. Dylan Thomas. B. W. H. Auden. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Philip Larkin. 27. Is a successful novelist who wrote the allegorical novel Lord of the Flies in 1954. A. Dylan Thomas. B. W. H. Auden. C. William Golding. D. Philip Larkin. 28. 28. Is the beginner of the postmodern era. He wrote the satirical novel, 1984, against totalitarianism in 1949. A. Dylan Thomas. B. George Orwell. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Philip Larkin. 29. Is a famous novelist of the period. He wrote dystopian novel A Clockwork Orange in 1962. A. Dylan Thomas. B. George Orwell. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Anthony Burgess. 30. Is a dramatist of Kitchen and Sink Theatre Group who writes about the inner realities of people within the house. His famous drama is Look Back in Anger, 1956. A. John Osborne. B. George Orwell. C. R. S. Thomas. D. Anthony Burgess. 31. Writes about simple villagers and their problems. His famous poem is, Death of a Naturalist. A. John Osborne. B. George Orwell. C. Seamus Heaney. D. Anthony Burgess. 32. Is a famous South African novelist. He wrote The Story of an African Farm in 1883. A. John Osborne. 
B. Olive Schreiner. C. Seamus Heaney. D. Anthony Burgess. 33 is a famous South African novelist whose Cry, The Beloved Country, was published in 1948. A. John Osborne. B. Olive Schreiner. C. Alan Patton. D. Anthony Burgess. 34 is another post-Second World War writer. He wrote many famous books like Midnight's Children, 1981, and The Satanic Verses, 1989. A. John Osborne. B. Olive Schreiner. C. Alan Patton. D. Salman Rushdie. 35 won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2001. A. John Osborne. B. V. S. Napal. C. Alan Patton. D. Salman Rushdie. Group B. Answers the following questions. 1. How has literature been developed in the postmodern period? Discuss. Postmodern Postmodernism is an attack on the established norms of the logocentric modernist period and moves towards the age of self-realization. It is the period of multiple identities and infinite meanings. In one sense, it is also the continuation of the experimentation in the field of art, music, and literature. It believes in fragmentation, paradox, mini-narratives, and questionable narratives. Postmodernism doesn't have its finite starting point but is generally viewed as the result of the multiple voices in the field of art, music and literature after the end of the Second World War in 1945. It focuses on a plurality of meaning, absurdity, sexuality, and experiments with narratives and structure of literature. Postmodern literature developed with multiple characteristics, nature, experiments, themes, and characters. It flourished the narratives of the periphery rather than the Eurocentric and aristocratic literary trends. The subjects of postmodern literature range from the human psyche, day-to-day -day activities, experiment of human activities, scientific inventions, human growth and development, religious change, aesthetic values, multicultural activities, social phenomena to many more. The text has the possibility of infinite meanings. No meaning is concrete and final, rather it signifies the innumerable possibilities. The emergence of the post-colonial literature in the mainstream was marked with great literary achievement. In the postmodern era, the literary shift moved from Europe to the outside world. The concept of English literature, literature as written in the British Isles, changed into English literature written in English anywhere in the world. Many texts from periphery were written in English so that they could get a great number of readers. Similarly, writers from the mainstream also searched subjects from different parts of the world and presented in their literary works. Moreover, texts written in English were also translated into many languages so that the local people could read rich English literature in their own language. Language. It brought a radical change in literary trends and perception in the second half of the 21st century. 2. List the representative writers of postmodern age and introduce any three of them. The representative writers of postmodern age develop literature with multiple characteristics, nature, experiments, themes, and characters. It flourished the narratives of the periphery rather than the Eurocentric and aristocratic literary trends. The subjects of postmodern literature range from the human psyche, day-to-day -day activities, experiment of human activities, scientific inventions, human growth and development, religious change, aesthetic values, multicultural activities, social phenomena to many more. A. Samuel Beckett Samuel Beckett was born on April 13, 1906, in Dublin, Ireland. He is the famous dramatist, novelist and poet of the 20th century literature. His writings are famous for picturing human philosophy. He started writing short stories and novels from 1930s. Later, he wrote a trilogy of novels including Waiting for Godot, 1954, in the 1950s. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1969. He died on December 22, 1989 in Paris, France. His famous works are, Eleutheria, Waiting for Godot, Endgame, Malloy, Malone Dies, The Unnameable and Messia at Camia. B. Harold Pinter, the most renowned dramatist of the 20th century, Pinter was born in 1930 in London. 
His works are famous for human realities, especially the uncertainty of birth, death, troubles, conditions etc. Pinter wrote his first play, The Room, in 1957. His other works are, The Birthday Party, 1960, The Caretaker, The Homecoming, Old Times, No Man's Land, and Betrayal. Betrayal. He died in 2008. C. Philip Larkin, 1922-1985 Larkin is the great poet with the flavor of pacifism in his poems. He wrote many popular poems like, Church Going, The Wits and Weddings. D. Ted Hughes, 1930-1998 Ted Hughes is famous pictorial poet who focused on high level of imagination and human freedom. He wrote many poems like Jaguar, and The Hawk in the Rain. E. R. S. Thomas, 1913 Thomas is a poet of traditional rustic landscapes and the lives of people. He writes about lives of people in the countryside. He blends the love of man with God. He wrote the poems like An Old Man. F. Dylan Thomas, 1914 1953 Dylan Thomas is a famous poet at the beginning of postmodernism. His poems are full of the prayers to natural beauty, human feelings and power of imagination. His famous poem is, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. G. W. H. Auden, 1907-1973 Auden wrote the poems full of voice of identity and anxiety in human beings in postmodern period. His major works are, The Unknown Citizen, and On This Island. H. William Golding, 1911, Golding is a successful novelist who wrote the allegorical novel Lord of the Flies in 1954. He explored the culture from the perspective of the British school on a deserted island. I. George Orwell, Orwell is the beginner of the postmodern era. He wrote the satirical novel, 1984, against totalitarianism in 1949. J. Anthony Burgess, Burgess is a famous novelist of the period. He wrote dystopian novel A Clockwork Orange in 1962. K. John Osborne, Osborne is a dramatist of kitchen and sink theatre group who writes about the inner realities of people within the house. His famous drama is Look Back in Anger, 1956. 1. Seamus Heaney, 1939-2013 Heaney is famous for his poems. He writes about simple villagers and their problems. His famous poem is, Death of a Naturalist. M. Olive Schreiner, Olive Schreiner is a famous South African novelist. He wrote The Story of an African Farm in 1883. N. Alan Patton, Alan Patton is a famous South African novelist whose cry, The Beloved Country was, was published in 1948. O. Salman Rushdie, Salman Rushdie is another post-Second World War writer. He wrote many famous books like Midnight's Children, 1981, and The Satanic Verses, 1989. P. V. S. Napal, 1932-2018 Napal is a Trinidadian postmodern writer who writes the conditions of the subalterns in his writings, he won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2001. His famous works are, A House for Mr. Bisfos, 1961, The Mimic Men, 1967, The Enigma of Arrival, 1987. An Area of Darkness, 1965, India, A Wounded Civilization, 1977, and India, A Million Mutinies Now, 1990. 3. What are the features of postmodern literature? Explain in brief. Postmodernism is an attack on the established norms of the logocentric modernist period and moves towards the age of self-realization. It is the period of multiple identities and infinite meanings. In one sense, it is also the continuation of the experimentation in the field of art, music, and literature. It believes in fragmentation, paradox, mini-narratives, and questionable narratives. Some of the features of postmodern literature are as follows. A. Plurality in meaning. Postmodernism is characterized by the plurality in meaning. For them, no meaning is final and every text has infinite chances of meanings. Meanings are contextual. They differ from person to person depending on their level of knowledge, culture, social status, or psyche. Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot is interpreted in many contexts as an excellent example of the postmodern text. 
b. Self-reflexivity. Postmodern literature has a high level of self-reflexivity both in high and low levels of works. The writers try to expose their internal realities in their writings and make others feel it as if it belongs to them. c. c. Temporality. Reality is temporality for the postmodern writers. They focus on the temporality and temporal beauty of the text. They say that any text can be popular for a certain period of time. As Barth says, there is no newness in anything. Rather, anything new would be instantly followed by the next thing in progress. D. Questioning the grand narratives. All the grand narratives are questioned by the postmodern writers. They started studying the established narratives and literature, and then, analyzed them from different angles. Salman Rushdie's Midnight Children and the Satanic Verses question the grand narratives in the Quran and other Islamic religious books. E. Mixed form of literature, postmodern literature is a tapestry of different literary trends and movements. There is no fixed form or style. Neither the theme is well identified. All these are juxtapositions of different movements in the past. F. Disoriented style, stream of consciousness or flashback techniques in postmodern art and literature have dismantled the chronological orientation of the texts. No reader knows where the text starts from and where it ends. There is a lack of established norms and beliefs coherent in the texts of this period. G. Multiculturalism, multicultural, multireligious, multiethnic literature started in this period as the product of cultural assimilations and mix-ups. Development of science and technology, communication, transportation, and trade brought radical changes in arts, literature and cultures around the world. Cultures around the globe got influence from the next culture. Multicultural presentation could be seen clearly in postmodern literature. H. Pop culture, postmodernists enjoy popular culture, literature and music making the immediate aesthetic pleasure to the public. Their goals can make the genre popular and teaching something new in multicultural society. I. Period of experiment and exposure, postmodern literature is marked by different experiments in the literature. There started the visual poems, size and shape poems, absurdist dramas, dadaism, gayism, lesbianism, pop songs and many others as the ways of seeking freedom from the modernist thoughts and entering into the world of freedom. A kind of fiction with mingling and juxtaposition of the realistic and the bizarre started in literature with skillful time shifts. Miscellaneous use of dreams, myths and fairy stories, expressionistic and even surrealistic description, the element of surprise or abrupt shock etc. became famous both in novels and dramas of the period. 4. What is diaspora? Discuss its role in the development of literature. Diaspora literally means dispersion of the population. A diaspora is a scattered population whose origin lies in a separate geographic locale. It is the expression or feeling of being alienated and distracted from the native culture and society, and the struggle for representation in the new lands the migrants have settled in. Migration is very common in the 21st century. People migrate to different, different parts of the world for one or other reason like historical, political and economical issues including business, higher education, better life and marriage diaspora has a wider meaning at present. In literature, diaspora includes the feelings, emotions and loneliness of the migrants. They feel distracted from their original culture and society. So, they try to express their feelings openly in their literature. Diaspora literature helps people to learn the background history of their native land. It is a broad concept which consists of all literary works written by different authors who have settled in the foreign land leaving their native country for long. They write about the culture and tradition of their native country. Their literature is not recognized by the country they settle in. They express feelings and experiences of the immigrants, and problem of alienation and diasporic life through their writings. In fact, they take support in writing and won honors for their work. Most of the diasporic writers wrote of their personal experiences too. Homi K. Baba states that migrant subjects are constituted by cultural indeterminacy and hybridity. It rejects fixed identity and reveals the difference, which is significant in constructing a diasporic image. 
he said about diasporic individuals suffer from doubling, dissembling image of being in at least two places at once which makes it impossible to accept the invitation to identity, you're a doctor, a writer, a student, you're different. It is precisely in that ambivalent use of different to be different from those that are different makes you the same that the unconscious speaks of the form of otherness, the tethered shadow of deferral and displacement. Salman Rushdie, Jumfa Lahi, V. S. Napal, T. Ju Cole, Chinalo Okaranta, William Safran, Kieran Desai, Samaya Lee are some representative diaspora writers. Similarly, the Nepalese-born writers Samrat Upadhyaya and Manjushri Thapar are also writing in English residing in the host countries. 5. What is subaltern literature? Write its major contribution in literature. Subaltern is the term used for the literature of the marginalized people. It identifies and describes the man, the woman, and the social group who are socially, politically and geographically outside of the hegemonic power structure. Subaltern literature has various themes such as oppression, marginalization, subjugation of lower and working classes, gender discrimination, disregarded women, deprived classes, racial and caste discrimination etc. As its origin, the word subaltern is from Latin subalternus in which sub means under and alternus means every other. The subaltern class cannot unite until they get state reorganization. Their history is, therefore, intertwined with that of civil society and thereby with the history of states and groups of states. The term subaltern refers to the third world countries and the marginalized in society. Goyatri Spivak says that the subaltern cannot speak. She means that subaltern women have no political agency because they cannot represent in those social organizations. Subaltern literature is basically taken as a non-Western and post-colonial concept in which downtrodden like the so-called lower caste, class, race, weak sex and economically disadvantaged groups from the developing countries express their feelings. Main issues of subaltern literature are the desire of exposure and feelings experiences of the oppressed group of people. Some famous writers of the subaltern literature are Mulk Raj Anand, Toni Morrison, Shahid Amin, David Arnold, Homi K. Baba, Parta Chatterjee, and David Hardiman. 6. What is the literary shift from modernism to postmodernism? Explain. Modernism and postmodernism are two literary movements of the 20th century. Both these movements were greatly influenced by events like world wars, industrialization, and urbanization reflecting the insecurities, disorientation, and fragmentation of the 20th century. Postmodernism is an attack on the established norms of the logocentric modernist period and moves towards the age of self-realization. It is the period of multiple identities and infinite meanings. In one sense, it is also the continuation of the experimentation in the field of art, music, and literature. It believes in fragmentation, paradox, mini-narratives, and questionable narratives. Postmodernism doesn't have its finite starting point but is generally viewed as the result of the multiple voices in the field of art, music and literature after the end of the Second World War in 1945. It focuses on a plurality of meaning, absurdity, sexuality, and experiments with narratives and structure of literature. Postmodern literature developed with multiple characteristics, nature, experiments, themes, and characters. It flourished the narratives of the periphery rather than the Eurocentric and aristocratic literary trends. The subjects of postmodern literature range from the human psyche, day-to-day -day activities, experiment of human activities, scientific inventions, human growth and development, religious change, aesthetic values, multicultural activities, social phenomena to many more. The text has the possibility of infinite meanings. No meaning is concrete and final, rather it signifies the innumerable possibilities. The emergence of the post-colonial literature in the mainstream was marked with great literary achievement. In the postmodern era, the literary shift moved from Europe to the outside world. The concept of English literature, literature as written in the British Isles, changed into English literature written in English anywhere in the world. Many texts from periphery were written in English so that they could get a great number of readers. Similarly, writers from the mainstream also searched subjects from different parts of the world and presented in their literary works. Moreover, texts written in English were also translated into many languages so that the local people could read rich English literature in their own language. 
it brought a radical change in literary trends and perception in the second half of the 21st century. The main differences between modernism and postmodernism in literature can be pointed out as follows. Modernism in literature. Postmodernism in literature. Modernism was characterized by a strong and deliberate break from the traditional styles of prose and poetry in the 20th century. Postmodernism was a response against modernism and was marked by its reliance on narrative techniques such as unreliable narrator, fragmentation, parody, etc. Modernist writers deliberately broke away from traditional styles of writing. Postmodernist writers deliberately used a mixture of earlier styles. Modernists focused on inner self and consciousness in their writings. Postmodernists prefer multiple meanings within a single literary work or complete lack of meaning. The stream of consciousness style was the major technique introduced during the modernist movement. Including the stream of consciousness style, postmodernist writers use techniques such as fragmentation, intertextuality, unreliable narrator, parody, dark humor, and paradox. Some of the modernist literary writers include Samuel Beckett, Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, T. S. Eliot, William Faulkner, Sylvia Plath, F. Scott Fitzgerald, William Butler Yeats, and Virginia Woolf, etc. Postmodernist literary writers include Bertrand Russell, Thomas Pinkin, Joseph Heller, John Barth, Vladimir Nabokov, Umberto Eco, Richard Carlich, John Nina Brazkai, John Hawkes, and Kurt Vonnegut, etc. 7. 7. What is cyber literature? Explain. Cyber literature is a new style of literary movement which uses electronic space as a medium and provides an opportunity for people to read, write, listen, and access the literary works. Cyber literature was born as an impact of innovation in technological advancement. Cyber literature covers literary texts such as prose or poetry, anthologies of digitalized prose or poetry, online literature, magazines or collections of classical texts available in web sources, non-professional literary texts available in the internet and hypertext literature and cybertext about the literary texts of complex structure. There are many cyber literature communities using home page, email, forum, YouTube channels and blogs to promote and publish their literary creation to the wider audience. Cyber literature was developed after the 1970s as a part of postmodern literature. Neuromancer by William Gibson was the major work which came in 1984 and was a winner of science fiction, Triple Crown, and other awards. It tells a story of a washed-up computer hacker hired by a mysterious employer to work on the ultimate hack. They use the web tools to upload their creation without limitation in the web sources. This helps to reach them to the wider audience across the globe. The shift from the hard copy publication to soft copy and audio novels is an effect of cyber literature. The existence of cyber literature opens literary creation like fan fiction. Here, fan fiction refers to the text created as pseudo-sequels to a book, comic strip, TV series or film and are not written by professional authors but by fans. Due to the advancement in the use of technology, there are multiple possibilities for the writers to reach to the wider audience and share their works to the global community. It is the breakthrough in literature in postmodern literature and cyber culture. The concept of hypertext is noble in the cyber literature which deals with electronic linking of the text with video clips, music sounds and other media arts. Both the Western and Eastern literature have been affected by cyber culture. South Asian is entirely influenced by it. In Eastern literature, cyberculture has influenced the writings of different scholars. Nyang Waggle's Palpasa Cafe, Anmol Mani Powdles, Nilama Ragada and Yaro, M. Mishra's The Dream Assembly, P. P. Singh's Samananta Akash, S. S. Tharu's Virtual Reality, Sarabakta's Sahas Rabdiko and Timprem Katha, are influenced by cyberculture. 8. Discuss the development of translation literature in the postmodern period, 1940+. Translation is a process of transferring a literary work written in one language into another language. Along with the development of multiculturalism and open market policy, translation became demand of the people. Many authors wanted to broaden their horizon of exposure and readers wanted to read the texts written in other languages and cultures. On the other hand, many big publishing houses started translation as their business corporations. 
Basically, translation literature became popular with the effort and policies of the publishing houses. In the West, there started the trend of translating popular literature and cultural texts from around the world. It aroused the interest of reading the literature of the Third World in English-speaking countries. On the other hand, different missionaries and publishing houses translated different literary texts from English to the local languages which provided a chance of reading the Western texts to the local people. In this, peri in this period, the role of the translator became visible and somehow similar to that of the author. According to Steiner, translation in the 1960s shows a reversion to hermeneutic, almost metaphysical inquiries into translation and interpretation. During this period trend of translating the text shifted towards function and culture-oriented approaches. This shift of translation to culture translation devised many issues of equivalence and translation of the meaning, not the form of the text. Translation process in target culture context was practiced in some universities in the USA in the 1960s. Later, a study of differences between the two languages started in the field. Halliday focused on the communicative aspect of translation in the 1990s and the speech act theory emerged from it. Machine translation or computational translation has been a major invention and practice in recent years which has made the possibilities of translation by the machine. In recent years, translation has been a form of new writing and translator is regarded as equal to the writer. 9. Distinguish between modernism and postmodernism in literature. Modernism and postmodernism are two literary movements of the 20th century. Both these movements were greatly influenced by events like world wars, industrialization, and urbanization reflecting the insecurities, disorientation, and fragmentation of the 20th century. Postmodernism is an attack on the established norms of the logocentric modernist period and moves towards the age of self-realization. It is the period of multiple identities and infinite meanings. In one sense, it is also the continuation of the experimentation in the field of art, music, and literature. It believes in fragmentation, paradox, mini-narratives and questionable narratives. Narratives. Postmodernism doesn't have its finite starting point but is generally viewed as the result of the multiple voices in the field of art, music and literature after the end of the Second World War in 1945. It focuses on a plurality of meaning, absurdity, sexuality, and experiments with narratives and structure of literature. Postmodern literature developed with multiple characteristics, nature, experiments, themes, and characters. It flourished the narratives of the periphery rather than the Eurocentric and aristocratic literary trends. The subjects of postmodern literature range from the human psyche, day-to-day -day activities, experiment of human activities, scientific inventions, human growth and development, religious change, aesthetic values, multicultural activities, social phenomena to many more. The text has the possibility of infinite meanings. No meaning is concrete and final, rather it signifies the innumerable possibilities. The emergence of the postcolonial literature in the mainstream was marked with great literary achievement. In the postmodern era, the literary shift moved from Europe to the outside world. The concept of English literature, literature as written in the British Isles, changed into English literature written in English anywhere in the world. Many texts from periphery were written in English so that they could get a great number of readers. Similarly, writers from the mainstream also searched subjects from different parts of the world and presented in their literary works. Moreover, texts written in English were also translated into many languages so that the local people could read rich English literature in their own language. It brought a radical change in literary trends and perception in the second half of the 21st century. The main differences between modernism and postmodernism in literature can be pointed out as follows. Modernism in literature. Postmodernism in literature. Modernism was characterized by a strong and deliberate break from the traditional style, styles of prose and poetry in the 20th century. Postmodernism was a response against modernism and was marked by its reliance on narrative techniques such as unreliable narrator, fragmentation, parody, etc. Modernist writers deliberately broke away from traditional styles of writing. Postmodernist writers deliberately used a mixture of earlier styles. Modernists focused on inner self and consciousness in their writings. 
Postmodernists prefer multiple meanings within a single literary work or complete lack of meaning. The stream of consciousness style was the major technique introduced during the modernist movement. Including the stream of consciousness style, postmodernist writers use techniques such as fragmentation, intertextuality, unreliable narrator, parody, dark humor, and paradox. Some of the modernist literary writers include Samuel Beckett, Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, T. S. Eliot, William Faulkner, Sylvia Plath, F. Scott Fitzgerald, William Butler Yeats, and Virginia Woolf, etc. Postmodernist literary writers include Bertrand Russell, Thomas Pinkin, Joseph Heller, John Barth, Vladimir Nabokov, Umberto Eco, Richard Carlich, John Nina Brazkai, John Hawkes, and Kurt Vonnegut, etc. 10. What are the common traits of modern and postmodern perspectives in literature? How do they differ? Answer. Answer. Modernism and postmodernism are two literary movements of the 20th century. Both these movements were greatly influenced by events like world wars, industrialization, and urbanization reflecting the insecurities, disorientation, and fragmentation of the 20th century. Postmodern perspective and modern perspective are both the perspective that have been used in the modern times especially after the 1950s. Postmodernism means after modernism, which means the postmodern perspective came to the scene after the modernist perspective. Postmodernism also means against modernism. It is generally believed that modernism in art, literature, culture, and philosophy began in the first decade of the 20th century and continued until the end of World War II. The new perspective on life, literature, language, art, and culture replaced that of the modern period. Modernism was based on the belief in perfection, completeness, wholeness, the singularity of meaning, whereas the postmodernist perspective came with a different belief. Postmodernists reject the notion of centrality, question the relationship between center and margin, demolish the conventional boundaries drawn between literary genres such as poetry versus prose. Moreover, postmodernists celebrate the play of signifiers, i.e. words, openness, fragmentation, and discontinuity in narration, ambiguity, plurality, and indeterminacy of meaning. Postmodern and modern perspective both have the characteristics of believing in only factual and an evidence having stuff. It doesn't believe in God and spirit so much. The postmodern perspective and modern perspective try to demolish the already set boundaries of literary writing by adding as various new elements such as metafiction, demolishing of literary genres, unreliable narration, fusion between fact and fiction. Modern perspective where in the other hand doesn't do all of these to this extent. The main differences between modernism and postmodernism in literature can be pointed out as follows. Modernism, modernism in literature. Postmodernism in Literature Modernism was characterized by a strong and deliberate break from the traditional styles of prose and poetry in the 20th century. Postmodernism was a response against modernism and was marked by its reliance on narrative techniques such as unreliable narrator, fragmentation, parody, etc. Modernist writers deliberately broke away from traditional styles of writing. Postmodernist writers deliberately used a mixture of earlier styles. Modernists focused on inner self and consciousness in their writings. Postmodernists prefer multiple meanings within a single literary work or complete lack of meaning. The stream of consciousness style was the major technique introduced during the modernist movement. Including the stream of consciousness style, postmodernist writers use techniques such as fragmentation, intertextuality, unreliable narrator, parody, dark humor, and paradox. Some of the modernist literary writers include Samuel Beckett, Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, T. S. Eliot, William Faulkner, Sylvia Plath, F. Scott Fitzgerald, William Butler Yeats, and Virginia Woolf, etc. Postmodernist literary writers include Bertrand Russell, Thomas Pinkin, Joseph Heller, John Barth, Vladimir Nabokov, Umberto Eco, Richard Carlich, John Nina Brazkai, John Hawkes, and Kurt Vonnegut, etc. Write short notes on a. Multiculturalism Multi Multicultural, multireligious, multi-ethnic literature started in this period as the product of cultural assimilations and mix-ups. Development of science and technology, communication, transportation, and trade brought radical changes in arts, literature and cultures around the world. Cultures around the globe got influence from the next culture. 
multicultural presentation could be seen clearly in postmodern literature. Along with the development of multiculturalism and open market policy, translation became demand of the people. Many authors wanted to broaden their horizon of exposure and readers wanted to read the texts written in other languages and cultures. Multiculturalism is the cultures, races and ethnicities, particularly those of minority groups, deserve special acknowledgement of their differences within a dominant political culture. Multiculturalism embraces many cultures and where culture itself is an integral part of the story, such literature opens up the world, allowing all to hear voices both different from and similar to their own, both from within their own community and beyond. The concept of English literature, literature as written in the British Isles, changed into English literature written in English anywhere in the world. Many texts from periphery were written in English so that they could get a great number of readers. Similarly, writers from the mainstream also searched subjects from different parts of the world and presented in their literary works. Moreover, texts written in English were also translated into many languages so that the local people could read rich English literature in their own language. It brought a radical change in literary trends and perception in the second half of the 21st century. So, we can interpret that the term multiculturalism influences the writers a lot and move according to the trends. B. Postmodernism as a period of experiment and exposure. Postmodern literature is marked by different experiments in the literature. There started the visual poems, size and shape poems, absurdist dramas, dadaism, gayism, lesbianism, pop songs and many others as the ways of seeking freedom from the modernist thoughts and entering into the world of freedom. A kind of fiction with mingling and juxtaposition of the realistic and the bizarre started in literature with skillful time shifts. Miscellaneous use of dreams, myths and fairy stories, expressionistic and even surrealistic description, the element of surprise or abrupt shock etc. became famous both in novels and dramas of the period. Postmodernism is characterized by the plurality in meaning. For them, no meaning is final and every text has infinite chances of meanings. Meanings are contextual. They differ from person to person depending on their level of knowledge, culture, social status, or psyche. Postmodern literature has a high level of self-reflexivity both in high and low levels of works. The writers try to expose their internal realities in their writings and make others feel it as if it belongs to them. Postmodern literature is a tapestry of different literary trends and movements. There is no fixed form or style. Neither the theme is well identified. All these are juxtapositions of different movements in the past. All the grand narratives are questioned by the postmodern writers. They started studying the established narratives and literature, and then, analyzed them from different angles. Stream of consciousness or flashback techniques in, postmodern art and literature have dismantled the chronological orientation of the texts. No reader knows where the text starts from and where it ends. There is a lack of established norms and beliefs coherent in the texts of this period. Postmodern writers focus on the temporality and temporal beauty of the text. They say that any text can be popular for a certain period of time. So, it's true that postmodernism is a period of experiment and exposure. Notes Red words are verbs. Blue words are adjectives. Light magenta, purple, words are, adverbs. Light green words are, nouns. 